All right, ladies, we are here from Rune Sports Network with our ladies tennis team. Hello, ladies. Hello. <laughs> let's go ahead and do an introduction of our team members here. So let's go ahead and start at the left. I'm Lauren Worley. I'm Caroline Oaks. And I'm Katie Taylor. All right, thank you, ladies. So let's go ahead and start with some questions here, ladies. I was telling the boys earlier, you know, I, I love tennis and I got to get up there and watch you guys a, a whole lot more uh, because it's a lot of fun. You don't really realize it until you start doing it, but I was telling a little bit of history lesson. I started Clay County's tennis team back in 89 because my dad was the athletic director. So I had to find my own coach and raise my own money to have a team. So we had a challenge, but we did it and we went eight and three our first year and we went 10 and one our senior year. And uh, so we had a, a player qualify for state, which was really good just to start the team out in year number two. So a little bit of history, but this is not Clay County, this is Pulaski County. So I don't know how long our tennis team has been around here. I'll have to do some research with Coach Atkinson, but uh, we'll go ahead and start with Katie. Katie, what are you most looking forward to this season? Um, I'm really just looking forward to getting better and like just learning more about the game. Getting better and learning more about the game. Alrighty, how about uh, Caroline? I think for me it's also going to be to get better um, and also just have a great senior season with my doubles partner Lauren. <laughs> um, we started freshman year and we've really improved since then. So. Okay, how about Lauren? Uh, the same. I'm ready to have a good senior season, um, knock off some of the rest of the rest I guess, and <laughs> finish out with my doubles partner. You know, you guys are a great story, too, because you guys show why it's so good to play multiple sports and represent our school, because I know Lauren is all-world in golf, and, and then Caroline is all-world in the 12th Region Girls Basketball Player of the Year. So, Katie, I don't know if you got another sport or not, but I know those two do. Do you? Yeah, I play volleyball. You're a volleyball player, yes. Yeah. So I covered you this year from Rune Sports Network. So we got all three of you here playing two sports or more, so I love it. So thank you for doing that for us. Um, so. Most looking forward to this season, so we already got through Katie, right? And Caroline? And? and <laughs> okay, question number two. We'll go ahead and start with Lauren. Lauren, do you have any goals or aspirations for this season? Uh, well, last year we made it to region and we got past the first round, but this year our goal is to get past the second round. So we just want to see how far we can advance in the regional tournament this year. Now, would that be the quarterfinals or you want to make it? I'd say you want to make it to semis. Yeah, we'll make that our goal. <laughs> okay, semifinals of region is your goal. Okay, we're excited here today, Coach Atkinson. Okay, how about you, Caroline? I'm going to have to say the same thing. And also, I honestly just want to have fun because I just got out of my super grueling sport, basketball, and tennis is a lot more relaxed for me. So it's a chance to have fun and finish off senior year and, and on a positive note. Okay, how about you, Katie? Um, well, last year I got out in the first round of region. <laughs> I now, are you a singles player? Yeah, I'm singles. Are you a singles one or two? Uh, one. You're well, on. sometimes one and then sometimes two. Depends, Depends on the matchup. Yeah. Okay. And I got out first round of region, so my goal was just to get past that. <laughs> get to the second round? Get to or the second farther. round. Okay, good deal. So we'll go ahead and start with question number three, and I'll go ahead and go with Caroline here in the middle. Caroline, who's your tennis idol and why? Um, probably Jackson Martin. Uh, <laughs> the only reason I played freshman year was because of him. So I've loved watching him every year. I mean, he's an amazing player. So definitely Jackson. <laughs> well, it's the second time we've had that today. So, you know, let's go with Katie. Um, probably Coach Alfie. He's just, I mean, I've never really got to watch him play, but whenever we're at practice or anything, he always just is so good to help. And he seems like he knows everything that he's talking about. So. Okay, that's somebody you really look up to. Yeah. Good. Lauren? Um, I'll have to go with Jackson too. Jackson's the only reason I played freshman year. We made a deal that I would play tennis if he would play golf. So did he follow I, up on his deal? Yes. Okay. Sort of. Okay. Sort of. With me. Um, and so um, Jackson's taught me a lot, and he's made me a better player, and has done drills with me, and just helped me out a lot. So Jackson's my tennis idol. You know, it sounds like we got to have him come back and be an ambassador for the team even when he graduates, so he needs to come back and be working on that level. One. <laughs> sounds like we need Jackson Martin's tennis camp. He needs to just be having lessons on the side, and that's how he makes money. It's he just... does. If any of you all have children, you can <laughs> yes. get tennis lessons at Eagles Nest Country Club. <laughs> okay, there's our From promo. Jackson. Promo, I love it. Okay, question number four. Katie, right now, what's the very best part of your game? Um, I'd say probably like whenever they – I can tell if they're going to keep hitting it short, so I just go up to the net and then I just volley. Because, I mean, I do play volleyball, so it's kind of natural. Okay. So volley and volleyball goes together. Lauren, how about yours? Um, I'm definitely a better 
back player than front since we're doubles partners. Caroline takes care of the net and I take care of the back side of things and I feel like I'm really good at my backhand since it kind of correlates with golf a little bit. So I can put my golf swing into my tennis swing and I think that makes it my best. Okay, we're using skills from volleyball <laughs> and from golf. Are we using any basketball skills? Caroline, um, what's the best part of your game? I guess jumping because I can get the high balls with the net because my, my volleys are the best um, part of my game. So, like Lauren said, I'm better at the net and she's better at okay, the so we're so using, that's how we're we work. using the high. So, yeah. we're, we're getting off the floor and getting some of those high balls that you can smash and yeah. they don't make it to the back, fortunately yeah. for her. So, you know, <laughs> if you go ahead and put it away, it's, it's good for us. Okay, I'm looking for, I'm coming and watching our number one girls doubles team here before long. What could we still improve upon? So, Caroline, I'll start with you. What's one part of your game that you're still working on? Um, I'm going to have to say my forehand. I tend to hit it too hard with my forehand and it ends up going out. Um, I've kind of gotten my backhand down, but can, can Jackson off. Martin teach you uh, some top spin so we can keep it in? I think he more? can. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like it's a, a we're going to challenge him to keep in these forehands of yours. Katie, yeah. how about yours? <laughs> um, probably like serving and returning a serve because like. Being number one, girls serve it really hard, and yeah. I'm not really used to that, so I need to work on the return. Okay, and finally, Lauren? Well, I think good players don't reveal their weakness, but I guess <laughs> if I have to, um, I'm, my best part is in the back, so I feel like to better my tennis game, I need to practice more at the front and do backhand volleys. Okay, very specific, up front and backhand volleys, I like it. Okay, so now that we got that done, if you could steal one weapon from another player, what player would you choose to steal it from and what would it be? So let's go ahead and start with Lauren this time. Um, I feel like I would choose, I am going to butcher her last name, but her name was Emma. She played in the U.S. Open this year and she was an underdog and a wild card and no one expected her to kick it through. So if I were to steal anything from anyone, I would steal her attitude and her positivity to get through the U.S. Open. Wow, I like some mental toughness part of it. Caroline? Um, I'm going to have to say Naomi Osaka. Um, her serve is just crazy. So I would definitely steal her serve. <laughs> okay, and Katie? I would have to agree with Lauren. Like, I just think the way that she made it through with being the underdog is just great. Wow, so an 18-year-old wild card came through and won the U.S. Open and inspired millions of viewers during that run. And so it was nice, an 18-year-old and a 19-year-old playing each other in the finals, and nobody would have picked those two to be in the finals. So that's pretty cool. That's the cool thing about tennis. Anything can happen. But positive attitude's where it's going to start. Okay, okay ladies, I asked the, the gentleman, how did the word love originate in tennis? So you got a little history lesson earlier today. So we're going to switch questions up for you. Which one of you three would consider would know the most about tennis? So let me just pick on one of you. Is, is none of the above an answer? <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. I'm going to go with all of the same boat. Okay, yeah. all three of you together, use your heads, because okay. Jackson's going to be able to answer this, but he's not going to help you off camera. Give me the names of the four majors of tennis and the order in which they occur. <laughs> the four what? The four majors of tennis. So there are four major events that happen every single year in the same month of every single year. What are the names of the four majors and put them in order? Okay. The French Open. There's a U.S. Open. Yes. Is there a British Open? <laughs> 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 I don't know. And Wimbledon? Wimbledon? There's four. Yes, that's three. Is that the four? Well, no. the British and Wimbledon are the, the same thing. Okay. Wimbledon okay. is so the one that happens close. in Great Britain. I'll tell you the one that you're forgetting. No, wait, let us think a little bit longer. Yeah, I think a little I bit think longer. We're gonna... He's probably hopping like a kangaroo off stage. Australian Open. Australian <laughs> Open. Okay, so Australian is the first. Okay, so yes. French is the second. Okay. Wilmington is the third. And then the U.S. Open. U.S. Open. U.S. Open in September. Okay. See, that was better. I mean, we got it. The boys you did. You, good job. Good job, ladies. Okay. Ladies, what is our record so far? I think i just seen where you guys beat somebody 9-0 or something. I don't know. It come through from Coach Miller. You blanked somebody here just a few days or a week ago. Southwestern, maybe? Uh, I think it was Rockcastle. Rock yeah, Castle. I'd say it was Rockcastle. Okay, Rockcastle. Yeah. I saw, saw the score come in. I'm like, all right. So what's your record so far, and do we have any upcoming games that, you know, uh, for our fans to come watch? So we'll start with Caroline. What's our record? <laughs> okay. um, our record is 3-1 <laughs> with doubles. Um, How about overall as a team? Are we 3-1 or are we 4-0? Oh. Um, I'm going to have to say 
I think, I think the girls are three and one. Three and one. Okay. And who was our only loss to? Boyle County. Boyle yeah. got us some boys and girls. Yeah. Okay. We owe them at some They're point in time. Yeah. They okay. So strong. that was your one loss in doubles, mm -hmm. Sister Boyle. Yeah. Katie, what's your record? Uh, three and one as well. Wow. Okay. So everything's three and one. So it sort of goes hand in hand here. Okay, ladies. Have we got any upcoming tennis matches coming up here in the next day or week or so that our fans can come watch? And why should they come watch ladies play tennis? So we'll start with Lauren. <laughs> okay, well we have a match tomorrow against Lincoln, but as the boys said, it's probably going to get rained out. So we have another one next week, I think on Monday, but I can't tell you who it's against. Um, and I feel like, just kidding, the week after next. We're gonna <laughs> be on the beach next week. County, maybe. Yes. Okay, so if it doesn't <laughs> rain, let's come watch us play Lincoln County tomorrow. Yes. Uh, we're saying the same thing we said earlier, so we'll go. Caroline, why come watch you guys play? Um, just because, uh, just just to support us. You know, we always need support. You can always use um, some more fans out there. Um, and I know that it probably helps us because we feel better about ourselves whenever we know that our peers want to come watch us. So. We we need to we need to get a, a student section out there one day just just for tennis because <laughs> yes. nobody knows unless you come watch it you and and I know it's hard to understand the score and everything but you'll get used to it I mean fifteen love thirty love whatever mm -hmm. add in add out so we'll get used to it Katie why come watch you guys um, I think tennis is a really underrated sport like it's really fun to watch like if someone gets a killer shot it's just I mean it's just everyone wants to clap but can't really cheer too loud <laughs> or they'll get mad. <laughs> yeah, because there's so many games going at the same time. you got four courts and yeah. four different matches and people are in the middle of a point when somebody else wins a point. So yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't ask the boys this, but are you excited for us to come out there and maybe go ahead and throw you guys on the air for the first time from Rune Sports Network? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay, any last words you guys want to throw to our fans before we wrap up our first edition of Rune Sports Network Girls Tennis Video Cast, I'll call it. <laughs> We're excited to see you at the courts. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the support. All right. Thank you, ladies.